All right, what we did was is I, I kept traveling down that bank and sure enough, I found um, this guy made it easy for us. He made a nice big light circle that really stood out. Um, eased over to it, look, see, and you can see the fish there as well. And so now what I'm doing is, is I'm trying to figure out how aggressive or not aggressive this fish is. Um, sometimes they're easy to catch, sometimes they're not. And you know, every fish is gonna be an individual. And I think that's what makes bed fishing sort of exciting. Cause there's not just like, just keep doing this or that. Um, many times you're gonna have to try different colors or different actions or different baits in order and look around in that bed with your lure to see if there's a spot that gets him a lot more fired up than other spots. Um, the bait I'm using right now, this is a Z-Man flapping craw, and it's solid white. And the reason I like to use that is I can see the lure and I know exactly where the lure is on that bed, staying away from it and pitching over to it. Um, the other thing that's really cool about it is, is that this material is that elastic, so it, it floats. And so when I stop this in the bed, instead of it just laying there, what it does is it tends to rise up and the pinchers stand up. And so it creates this movement without me having to move the bait off of this bed. So um, it's one of my favorite sight fishing techniques. And now when I rig this, I don't use light line on this. This is 20 pound shooter. Uh, we're using a Sunline shooter right here. I've got it pegged with a half ounce rain tungsten sinker using a big wide gap hook, um, really sharp, just got it skin hooked on the back. And the reason I'm using this heavy stuff is because we're not trying to fool this fish into thinking that this is a uh, subtle bait. We're trying to make this fish bite this lure out of an aggression, just guarding its bed. And so when you see that fish bite, you can set the hook and get him out of there. Like this one here, we're kind of lucky because it's wide open, but a lot of times they might be over in behind a bush, underneath a dock, somewhere where there's a lot of cover at, and you wanna be able to get that fish out of that situation and into the boat. That's a spot, and he's gonna bite. <laughs> now we got. There we go. There he is right there. Now this is the, the spotted bass we just seen on the bed. And as you can see, he took that bait really well. This is what aggravated him into biting. But as you can see, he took that bait really well. And now we'll have to put him back in there, let him continue guarding his nest. But he was fun to catch.